Some people call them the pregnant ladies because this is a good one to not get your pregnant belly in the way, I guess. Hi, I'm Tom Daly, an Olympic diver, and today I'm gonna to be doing the first in a series of six minute summer workouts. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you turn on that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of these workouts. But today, we're gonna to do six minute abs. The way this workout's gonna work, there's gonna be 30 seconds of hard work with 10 seconds rest, all the way for six minutes. So, if you're ready, let's get cracking. Six minutes starts now. So the first thing you're gonna do is lay onto your back, bend your knees. We're gonna just do a simple crunch for 30 seconds, making sure your knees are about a 90 degree angle. Coming up, curling every vertebra off of the mat or off the floor or wherever you are, because you can do this workout absolutely anywhere. Just really great, engaging and bracing your core. And then we're about to go into our first lot of rest. So we've got 10 seconds rest now to recover. That might have seemed a little bit easy, but you're gonna be very thankful for those rest breaks in a minute. Now we're gonna just hold at the top of the crunch. So you're at about a 45 degree angle, resting back. Your hands are on top of your knees, making sure that your head is nice and long and really bracing that core. You're gonna be holding for 30 seconds, just like every other exercise that we're gonna be doing today. So keep holding, really make sure that your back is curled up nicely. You'll feel it in your hip flexors as well because you'll start using your hips to hold and we'll have another rest, 10 seconds. These 10 second breaks are gonna be nicer and nicer as you go along, trust me. Okay, so the next one we're gonna be doing is a rotational crunch on your back, all the way up, twist to the side, back down, all the way up, twist to the side, back down, all the way up, twist to the side and back down. This one is great for your obliques and the side of your abs. So you're gonna come up, twist, and back down, making sure that you're keeping your core braced at all times. That'll protect your back. And this is really good workout for people with bad backs to help try and fix some of the main problems. And rest. We have another 10 seconds rest coming our way. And the next one we're gonna be doing, we are gonna be doing toe touches. Some people can do with straight legs, some with bent. So if you're advanced, you could go to touch your toes. But if you find that a little bit difficult, come to your toes with a bent leg. It's very much like a basic crunch, but taking it to the next level by taking your feet off of the mat. Curling each vertebra off of the mat each time and bracing at the top. That's it. Three seconds and rest. 10 more seconds rest. I told you these 10 second rests, they go pretty quickly. So the next one we're gonna be doing is one for your obliques. So laying on your side and lifting your legs up and then back down, lifting up and back down. You can use your arm in front of you to make sure that you have a bit of balance, but don't use it to push. You should only really have your finger on the floor and make sure your body is in a straight line as possible, squeezing your glutes, making sure they're activated at all times. And when you lift up, you'll feel it also in your abs, but then in your side here. And then we're gonna rest for 10 seconds before we do the other side. So making sure you get a variation of what you're doing with your abs. So you've got your side, you've got also your main front abs, your lower abs. So now we're doing our obliques, which are the muscles on the side of your abs go. You can use your hand to rest your head, but just using a finger to make sure that you're balanced. So it can be a nice rest from your ab workout as well, because sometimes when you're doing all abs, <laughs> it can start to burn, as you're probably feeling by now. Three seconds, two, one, and rest. So we've got another 10 seconds rest. This next one is one of my personal favorites, and I like to call it a penguin. So we're gonna lay on our back like a normal crunch, and we're gonna keep up the whole time, and we're gonna just touch side to side, as if you're a penguin walking. I know, we don't really look like penguins. Some people call them the pregnant ladies, because this is a good one to not get your pregnant belly in the way, I guess. 
So this one is good for the sides as well as engaging your abs the whole time too. Really stretch down as far as you can. The more you put in, the more you're gonna get out. And keep pushing, two, one, and stop. So now we've got the 10 seconds rest and then we're going on to a straight leg knee touch. So you're gonna have your legs out straight and you're gonna raise up, touch your knees, back down, raise up, touch your knees, and back down. You'll really start to feel the burn in your abs by now, but we do not have much longer to go. After this, we just have one more exercise. So keep pushing. You've got one more 10 second break, and then you'll be done after the next exercise. So really make sure that you're bringing yourself all the way up to touch your knees and rest. The last exercise we're gonna do is a 30 second dish hold. So we're gonna be laying on our back, we're gonna be springing your legs off of the mat and keeping your upper body off and just holding from this position because doing holds as well as actually doing the exercise will really help you get some definition. But abs are definitely made in the kitchen. So eating well doesn't take any extra time. So make sure you make good choices and you'll start to see results pretty quickly. So we have 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we are done. That is a six minute ab workout, smashed out the park. Good job everyone was able to keep up. But if you weren't, then don't worry because you can gradually increase the amount of time that you were able to keep up with me for. So good job guys. I hope you enjoyed that six minute workout. Now, if you want more of those, then make sure you're subscribed and you turn on that notification button because you'll be notified every time I upload a workout. All the details of the workout are gonna be in the description box below. So share it with a friend because you can get fit for summer together. But until next time, I'll see you later.